Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to solve a problem involving low high problem. We will be looking at this question, and the question goes like this: It says, construct a cycloid whose generating circle has a radius of 2.5 centimeter. So, what you do first of all is to draw your horizontal and vertical line in this fashion so i'll take my t square right and i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way you can see that and i'll take my c square and i'll draw a vertical line on that horizontal line this way right as you can see now they are meeting at this point. This is the center of the what? Of the circle, right? But two generating circle. Is that okay? And since we are giving a centimeter, 2.5 centimeter, we have to convert it to millimeter, right? And that will give me 2.5 times 10, which will be what? 25 millimeter. And I am going to pick up my um, meter rule, right? And I will take my compass right and i'll place it and i'm going to measure half of it which will be uh 25 you can see that that is 25 here and i'll place it at that center point of the line you can see that and i'm going to draw a circle on that point This is what we have here so this is the generating circle here and most times you can be given the diameter you are given diameter meaning you divide by two to get the radius is that the key? because for you to construct a circle you need the radius of that circle so either you are given in diameter or you are given in radius and sometimes the question can come and they will tell you a cylinder is rolling on a horizontal ground without slipping off the, the, the ground right that is also a cycloid without even being told the name cycloid does know when a cylinder rolls or a circular object rolls on the ground or on the on uh, on the floor without slipping does know it is what a cycloid now let's proceed after we've done this you're taking this right and with the same radius you use to draw this circle you're going to divide it into what into 12. so if i place it here right i'm going to place it here and i'll mark up right and i also mark to this point also i'll mark up to here and i'll place it here too i'll mark left and also what right you can see what i've done now i cannot take my meter rule and allow those points draw a line from those points or pass to the center of the circle right so this is what we have the first one the second one hope you can see that third one print line this is what we have here can you see that so when we've done that the next thing we should be doing is this will be uh zero this will, we're going and we're going clockwise it's rolling this way right so we're going in this manner here we're moving in this manner this is zero this is one this is two this is three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, right? Let me take it up a little bit. You can see that? Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is I will now draw an horizontal line here in this fashion. Right? That will be the ground that the circle is rolling. The other circle is rolling, is rolling in this manner. And we are going in this direction. Let me still put it this way. We are going in this direction. 
so it's moving clockwise and it's going in this direction now the next thing is i'm going to measure count 12 divide this line into 12 there are two ways you can actually do this which i'll be showing you here one of the fastest and efficient way is take your compass place it in between any of these two division of the circle right then i'll come to this point and i'll start marking this will be one this will be two this will be three four i'll do it up to twelve then twelve right now i'm going to name them this is zero this will be point one this will be point two point three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so what we are doing from this point to this point we are calling it length of what length of circumference that will be the length of what of circumference length of circumference how good now and that is always given as l equals to what 2 pi r so either you take the two division here or you just place your radius of 2.5 which is approximately 25 multiply it with the pi multiply with 2 so the length from here to here you're going to get it and use your length division to divide it but i see this as a more and better efficient way in order to get what you want to get right so you follow this way multiply 2 times pi times the radius which is given as a um, 25 millimeter so whatever you get you measure from this point to the end of the any point of the line then you take your division of your line that means you're not making use of this demarcation here both are the same so let's try and see what we're going to get if i multiply uh, the length saying 2 times 3.142 which is the value for pi multiplied by the radius given which is uh, given to be 25 millimeter that is opposing um, equivalent to 2.5 centimeter so this is what i am going to get we'll be having this to be equals to 157.1 that is the distance from here so if you have i should measure this so if i take my meter row and i measure from here to this point right so i'm starting from one so this is 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, almost 157.1, right? So either you measure from here and use a line division to divide it into 12, or you take the distance of these two um, circle division, any of the two. So let's proceed. Let's go back to business. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to pick up from the top here, I'll draw a vertical line this way from here you can see that and I'm going to take my meter rule my t square c square and I'll start moving it on this each of them to bring up my straight line from here I'll draw a vertical line for every point You can see that now after you've done that you can still like um draw the line from this point also from each of this point one and eleven on the same line and i'll draw them from this point to touch here from two also i'll do the same thing to touch here three is already there i'll go to four i'll do the same thing to touch here i'll come to five I'll do the same thing to touch here. This is what we have now. After doing that, let me enlarge this a bit so we'll get to a better insight. So I leave it that way. So let me enlarge that a little bit so we'll get to what we're doing, right? So, this is what we have here. You can see that. So, we'll start. I'll take my compass with the same radius I used to draw the circle. Can you see that? 
and now place it to have different center this is the first center i'll call it center c0 that is center sub 1 c sub 2 c sub 3 c sub 4 c sub 5 c sub 6 c sub 7 c sub 8 c sub 9 c sub 10 c sub 11 and c sub 12 that means center up to 12 so this is the first circle first center so the same radius second circle second center i'll place it this way and i'm going to draw a circle hope you can see that so where the circle i drew first circle right meet first line I see that this is the first line and first circle that will be my point one right i don't have to put one there i'll come again to the second circle center two i'll do the same thing you see that then second circle second line that is line two Will give me my point two. You can see that. I'll come again to the third one. With the same measures of the I used earlier. You can see that. Third circle. Third line here. So this will have number point three. I'll come again for the fourth one. You don't have to number it. Fourth circle, fourth line here. This is number four. Oh, good. I'll go again to the fifth one. Fifth circle, fifth line. This is the fifth circle here, between the fifth line here. This is the fifth line, then my, my line five. I'll come again. Six circle, six line. So this is the sixth line here, touching at the top. The sixth. Come again for the seventh one. Seventh circle. Now from the sixth, from the seventh, you start marking from the right hand side. Earlier, when you are coming, you are always you marking on the left hand side of the circle. Now we'll be at the right hand side. What I mean is, six circle, then we we'll go to the seventh circle, seventh line. So the next one is seventh here. I go since the circle, the seventh is falling at the right hand side of the circle. If I divide it into two, seven at the right hand side. From six down to zero is at the left hand side. From here, left hand side. From seven to back to one is at the right hand side. Right to to eleven. So this is seven will be at this side so that we'll have here to be seven right we'll come again at eight i'll do this eight circle if you look at four and eight on the same line or at this point eight line i'll come again the ninth one the ninth circle so it's three and nine on the same point. This will be a ninth. Then the tenth circle. That will be the tenth line. This is two and ten on the same point. Tenth. Then we have the eleventh circle at this point. For this is one and eleven on the same line, I will be the eleventh. Then we have been told the twelfth circle, number twelfth circle from the center. We have at this point the twelfth circle here, twelfth point. 
So I'm going to use my French curve, right? And I'm going to join each of this together. So let's do that together with the French curve. Each of those points starting from 12, you can see. Make sure they are touching each other and coming this way. See that? Okay, they turn it to this point also, like this. So I'll draw this this way. And one, two, four. And we have this display. We fix two to four. Can see that? Then this is just coming here. Let's make that possible. Right, so this is what we have here. So we have successfully drawn out the cycloid. This is the locus here, like, and this is the ruling circle. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.